and welcome to Centro, everyone. I'm Yadires Nova Salcedo. Glad to have you with us. In November of 2013, he came to Centro as a candidate hoping to be the next mayor of Boston. He spoke of his many plans, and one of them was to bring more diversity to the city of Boston. After winning the election and serving the people of Boston for almost four years, Boston Mayor Thank Marty you. Walsh honors us once again with his presence. Good morning, Mayor. Thank, Thank you. you so much it's for coming by. Mayor, I am so thrilled to have you here because this is the first time you've been here after winning the election. I thought I'd here one other time, but I guess so. <laughs> All right. Well, we can't let it wait another four years. <laughs> okay, Mayor. So because you haven't been here after winning the election, I want you to take us back. How did that feel? Because you haven't been here. We haven't talked yeah, about no, it. No, it was uh, the, the night I won. It was an incredible night. Um, and then, um, you know, building up to taking over as mayor for that six weeks, really putting together our team. And, and then, uh, you know, the first few weeks and months in, in the office, we're, we're busy and fast. But now, you know, as we get into it, really looking back on the first, really, first term, um, you know, proud of a lot of the accomplishments we've had, particularly when you open the show, show up and you talked about diversity. Uh, you know, we've been able to diversify the leadership of the City Hall, been able to diversify the command staff of the police department, and, and all of our hires, 44% um, of our hires have been people of color in the, in the administration in three years. And if you take out civil service, that number goes up to 49%. Yes. So, um, Mayor, another thing that I like to do is that when... We have a politician on. We always think, let's talk politics. Yep. We don't want to do that today. Right, Not that much. It. Not that much. So what I want to do is, back then, I remember I asked you, who is Marty Walsh? But I want you to tell me, who is Marty Walsh now, after being mayor for four years? Uh, Marty Walsh is the same guy that got elected in 2013, uh, a guy from Dorchester who, who, uh, who was just honored to represent the people of the city of Boston. Uh, when, when you asked me that question back in 2013, I was proud of being a state representative and proud of representing the people of my district district in Dorchester and, and as mayor I'm proud to be the mayor of the city. I mean uh, I don't think I've changed. Um, you know I, I grew up in a three family house, immigrant family, immigrant parents and uh, I'm still proud of that and I'm proud today that, that I am the mayor of the city of Boston and growing up the way in, in the family I grew up in and the neighborhood I grew up in. I'm proud of that. Mm -hmm. So when you were here we also talked about what are some of the plans that you had for, for the city of Boston if yeah. you were to be the mayor and one of them was to basically hire more Latinos which I can say you have done that. Yeah. Would you continue to do that if you were mayor again? Would oh, yeah, abso absolutely. I think it's important. We have about 2,000 Latinos working in the city out of 18,000, so roughly 12% of, of our population Latino uh, people. Uh, it's very important. I mean, when you think about the city, it's important for us to make sure that we, the people that, that, we, that work in the city reflect the communities th that they work in and they, 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 they live in. Yes. And I think we're going to continue to do that. That's what makes our city so special. Mm -hmm. That's why when, when Washington talked about all these executive orders, yes. I got so upset about it yes. because in our city, 28% uh, of the people that live in our city were born in another country. 58% of the people that live in our city are first generation. Uh, many of us in City Hall are first generation or foreign born. And we have a great city. And you mentioned that, so we do need to go that route, Mayor. Um, at, back then, immigration was a hot topic. And we talked about that as well. Today, it still continues to be a hot topic, obviously. Your thoughts on immigration so far, and also touch up on um, sanctuary cities. Well, I, I, think, I think that, you know, Washington, the, the rhetoric that's coming out of Washington right now with the executive orders and the threat of, of, of ICE and all this other stuff is throwing uh, the attention off what the real issue is. The real issue in Washington is that we have 11 people in this country that are undocumented. Uh, some of them have had children in our country. Some have brought their children into our country. We have to figure out what do we do with the 11 million people. And how do we secure the borders? And the way you do that is by immigration reform. The way you do that is by Congress sitting down and coming up with a bill, a bipartisan bill. Now, Republicans and Democrats across the aisle want to do something here, but nothing's ever been done. So you, we really have to deal with the issue of immigration. Yes. It, once and for all. And, and the threat of, of making people feel unsafe in our city is just not, not the case. And, and, and trying to label every undocumented immigrant as a criminal is just not fair. Yes. So we, we, the Congress has to do that. And, and as, far as, as far as our city... Um, you know, I've made this perfectly clear. The commission has made this clear. The, 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 school, the, the Boston um, City Council has voted on this. Mm -hmm. We have the Trust Act in Boston. They voted on it twice. We've passed it. We're going to work with our immigrant community. Yes. We're not going to be looking to, we're not working to, to turn people over. We're going to be looking for us to create pathways to citizenship. Why would you want to be mayor a second term 
is there any unfinished business? Oh, there's a lot of unfinished business. Yes. It, you know, this is this is an incredible opportunity to serve the people of Boston and, and, and work in every different neighborhood in our city. What's strong about our city is the diversity of our of our city yes. and the celebration of each of the cultures. And, and as this, you know, really around May now, from May, actually it starts in St. Patrick's Day, and Ch actually Chinese New Year's, from Chinese New Year's all the way through, every different ethnic group celebrates their, their heritage in our city, which shows us how strong. And we do have some a lot of unfinished business that we will complete over the next three, four, five years. This was your official first time as I guess mayor. So. Yeah, you're going to be coming I, back I will mayor. not wait four more years to do this. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming by, Mayor. Okay. Now, for more information on Mayor Walsh's plans for the city of Boston, you can call 617-635-4500. You can also get a direct link to their website and their social media pages, visiting us online at cbsboston.com slash centro. And, like every week, we want to remind you that you can get more information on today's show and our past shows. You can actually watch both the English and the Spanish versions of Centro on our website. If you have time, visit us right now or come back later for more of Centro. We also want to invite you to connect with us online. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Yadiras Nova Salcedo inviting you to step forward to a better you. See you next time.